Chairman Burgess, Ranking Member Green, and other members of the committee. Thank you for the opportunity to address you today. My name is Naomi Lopez Bauman, and I am the Director of Healthcare Policy at the Goldwater Institute. We began our work on Right to Try about five years ago. Doctors and patients approached the Institute because dying patients were not getting access to the innovative treatments. Meanwhile, the wealthy and well-connected could seek innovative treatment overseas, leaving most others behind with few options. Diego Morris, who was diagnosed with osteosarcoma at age 10, is one of those lucky few. His family relocated to England for an entire year so that he could obtain a leading treatment that seven years later has yet to receive U.S. approval. It's also considered the standard of care in many countries around the world. Diego is now a healthy 17-year-old who is now helping to ensure that other patients like him are not left behind. Something is desperately wrong when terminal patients who are out of options are required to stand in line for permission to seek an investigational treatment that their doctor is recommending and that a manufacturer is willing to make available. Right to Try is about the terminal patients who don't fit into a control group, who can't afford to travel overseas or move to another country, and who simply want permission to seek the same treatments that other patients, sometimes in the same medical facility, are already receiving. This inequity occurs despite the fact that one of the bedrock principles of medical ethics is patient autonomy. When a life hangs in the balance, decisions about health care are ultimately for the patient to make. That is the basis of the state right to try laws. And I'm very happy to report that yesterday, the Senate in Pennsylvania unanimously passed right to try. So now in Pennsylvania, it has passed both chambers unanimously, and we hope will be the 38th state that will be the right to try state. We're, and and it's, we're still proceeding in, in, in the additional states as well. But under these state laws, if you have a terminal diagnosis and you have exhausted all other options, you may seek, under your doctor's care and direction, investigational treatments that have passed phase one of the FDA clinical trials and are continuing to undergo FDA evaluation. Simply put, this law extends to all terminal patients who are dying and out of options the same right to try to save one's own life that is already enjoyed by the wealthy and well-connected and the lucky few that are in the clinical trials. At the worst time of his life, Mark Hayaton of California was facing terminal cancer and insurmountable odds when he became a patient of Dr. Ibrahim Delpasand, a nuclear medicine physician who was testing a promising treatment. Then the FDA terminated the study that what Mark was participating in because there was no longer a need for more patient data. Mark was left without the ability to complete his treatment. It is because of the Texas right to try law that Mark was eventually able to complete the treatments. Today, Mark credits Dr. Delpasand and the Texas right to try law for saving his life. The federal right to try legislation un under consideration today is not a call to ignore research or undermine science, or for doctors to abandon their obligations to their patients, or for drug companies to disregard the complex ethical questions such as how to distribute limited supplies of drugs. And obviously, right to try is not a guarantee that an investigational medicine will work or that patients and doctors who will have, will, will have perfect information to make these informed decisions. And as the FDA admits, no system can insure against all risks. But that isn't the question for us today. The question is, who should ultimately decide what level of risk is acceptable to a dying patient? Federal officials or the patients themselves in consultation with their doctors? Thank you for your consideration of Senate Bill 204, the Right to Try Act. I yield back to the chair.